You know, we go on high alert every single time we hear that blaring sound on our phones. And our Albuquerque Police Department wants to make sure it's even more prepared the next time an, alarm, an amber alert goes out and a child's safety is on the line. So today they spent the afternoon at their reality based training center going through a few different mock amber alert calls. Feliz Romero had a front row seat and joins us with more Feliz. Yeah, Julie, Tessa, not only did they have detectives and field officers out there, but they also had role players to make these scenarios as real as possible. Take a look. Officers, how are you doing? So today we're conducting a mock Amber Alert scenario. This scenario is based on an abduction of a child and how officers need to respond to it in one of the more chaotic scenes that we can, can respond to as an agency. Badge and notepad in hand, Albuquerque police officers and detectives met at their training center to conduct mock Amber Alert calls. So this is something that we're, we're trying to do more regularly. Um, and again, just to keep um, all of our different bureaus, our field services bureau, our detective divisions, all in sync on how we respond to these these chaotic cases. The scenario for this run, a 16 year old girl was abducted after a bad breakup that got violent. Punched, um, hitting her and pulling her hair. Just like a real call, officers met with detectives, conducted a search warrant and worked until the victim was out of harm's way. What you'll see today is how officers uh, respond to that call initially and then how the process then begins to uh, initiate an Amber Alert and it will conclude with the apprehension of the suspect and recovery of, of the child victim. Now, this is the first time APD has done this mock Amber Alert training. Detective Ratliff says that's because fortunately they don't have many of these cases on a regular basis.